Hello, welcome to Double Talk on the uh, Corona Cast. I'm yes. Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel. And we have our wall between us. It's the same as, uh, you know, social. Look at that. That proves that something's there. Yes. Albert's, no. It's like the cashier at Albertsons. That's right. Give me, give, give me the money. Give me the money. Now, is it my turn to wear the mask next? Yeah, here, you take it. Okay. Don't lick it. Now, you know, I know. You're going to talk about something. I know that Amar Amaro Winery on the Landers is open now, the Amaro Winery and Tasting Room. You can now go in there mm -hmm. and uh, buy wine, bottles of wine that they make, and you can taste them and see if you like them in the first place. They have an outdoor patio, too. So that's open. As most brew pubs in town have outdoor patios. And uh, we're, oh, we'll be are. talking more about that later. So one of the things wine involved was uh, we got a shipment of wine from something called Wine Insiders. Yes. They have good prices usually, but every so often they have these great deals. And uh, last week was one of them. And you can get uh, some pretty decent wines for like, Actually, they're all ten dollars and fifty cents. Well, how do you know they're, they're any good? If because they give you what their original prices are, they give you a little description. Uh, you've seen it, we've tasted them, um, and uh, you go on, you get uh, good wine for like uh, hundred twenty bucks, uh, free shipping. For a case, or what? for a case of four bottles, good. twelve. Twelve bottles in a case. Yeah, twelve bottles in a case. Huh. I can lift it almost by myself. How do they ship it to you? They, a guy walks it from uh, California. On a forklift? No, they get it from FedEx. And okay. the guy comes and he tries to ring your doorbell and uh, <laughs> he drops the box and then he gives it to you. So that's it's, where you get all that styrofoam, right? Yeah, that's where I get styrofoam for my sculptures. <laughs> so they're good. Also, those of you who haven't tried Last Bottle, Last Bottle is good to pick and choose, but you have to go through it whenever it's there. When they have a deal of something you like, pick mm -hmm. it up. You know, another good place to get wine. I watch, I watch a lot of Turner Classic Movies, and Turner Classic Movies channel has their own wines based on movies and so forth. It's great. Many places have their own wines. Our, our good friend Bob Libby tried, I think, the Nation Wine Club. The first. The Nation has a yes, wine the club? Yes, so does the Wall Magazine. Street Journal. And, and uh, he did the initial one, which was a great deal. And then they keep sending you if you don't stop them. Yeah, right. And that's where they make their money back. So you yeah. gotta be. I was I was yeah. in a book club that way. Remember? <laughs> no, Mark, that was called school. And if, no, and if you don't Here, say, Mark, you have to read this book. You have to read this next book. And if you don't, if you don't say, I don't want this next book, you get it. That's and then true. you have to send it back. And uh, the book company finally went out of business, I think, because they were losing too much money that oh, way. The, the funny thing. <laughs> Okay, I won't tell you the funny thing about it. But anyway, it's a good way to get wine mm -hmm. if you keep going on to different places. Yeah. And you get it. Um, Online. New, the New York Times has it. I think I think Martha Stewart has it. Yeah. Well, you know, the, because of the virus situation, uh, more people are buying things online as it is now. Because uh, uh, big, instead of big going box out stores shopping. are going to be out of business as they are now. So they're well, going to have a hard time getting it. Yeah, well, the little box stores are really hurting because they're closed. That's and true. Uh, the post, bit. so people are relying upon the post office and, and FedEx and these kinds of places, um, but the post office oh, is in big, big, big trouble. Well, you know that trouble is mandated by a law which says they have to have enough money for people to retire forty years from now. Yes, and that's because of Congress. Yes, Congress has to uh, reject that law and keep the uh, post office o open. Most people are getting stuff. People who are in the house, unwilling to go out, they get most of their stuff. Yeah, they, the, the post, post office, office says they need $89 billion pretty much by September. And we need the post office, especially this year, because it's an election year. Uh, it's a census year. Yes. And people are home, housebound, and they need to get things delivered by But somebody the post is trying to put the kibosh on it against all the... Our concerns. I well, mean, we, it's our concern. Well, we you know, these things. People, there's mail-in ballots, and Trump is against mail-in ballots uh, because. But then he, what does he do? He, he appoints a, one of his big donors as postmaster general. Hmm. hmm. Well, to break up all that seriousness, you want to yes. have a drink? Let's do that. So you notice the title, the Americano. The American June is for us Negroni month. Negroni month. It, we did this last month, last year. Every, we do it every year. Because the first full week of uh, June is usually Negroni week. Negroni week. Which is when all the bars who <laughs> sell Negronis yes. 
give a dollar from each drink and send it to a charity. Yeah. However, considering the situation we're in, they changed Negroni week to October. But June is still a good time to drink Negronis because Why not? it's like tradition. So, but we're going to do Americano. The Americano is the forerunner of the Negroni. So it is like equal amounts of um, Campari and sweet vermouth. Yes. And then you just put a bunch of... Uh, yeah. The only difference is, is it's lacking the third ingredient, which is gin. Yes. And, and we'll do that if we want next week. Sadly. Yeah. We'll do a little bit different every week. Yeah. In Negroni month. To do everything. So this is Campari. That's the thing. So Campari also owns Aperol. Campari owns a lot of stuff. Oh. And uh, this is what people used to drink. They used to drink just Campari and sweet vermouth sitting in bars in Italy and France. Zing. And then when the Americans came over, they said, oh, this is too strong. And they put soda water in. Yes. So when they put soda water in. Made it a cocktail. Uh, it was a cocktail. And it was called the Americano because that's how all the Americans like their cocktail. Now you're adding Dubonnet. What is Dubonnet, Mike? Dubonnet is a sweet vermouth. This one's a sweet vermouth. Actually, this is a uh, just an aperitif, which is a sweet vermouth. They used to they used to advertise, uh, advertise Dubonnet on TV. Uh, Dubonnet Dub Dub on the rocks. Dubonnet. So hopefully this is going to get cold. We have some cold Schweppes water made with. Uh, it's club soda, right? Yep. Well, actually, is it club soda? There's a difference between seltzer, club soda, and. This is club soda. So I think club soda has a little salt in it. You know, the little salt makes it taste a little better. Well, salt improves the flavor of most things. Yes. Even if you bite your tongue. Salt it. Well, this looks interesting. Cheers. Did you ever have this? You had this last year, I'm pretty sure. You may have. Good thing none of you remember these things. Remember, Michael, on this show, we used to do our, mm. our cocktail segments in art galleries. And uh, in your room, at your house? At my house with the uh, remotes. With the bricks behind us. Mm -hmm. We used to do two little cameras, then we'd, we'd splice them together. Yes. Oh, here's what this needs. Oh, yes. An orange slice. Orange slices make everything better, especially this. So I cut it a little bit. There we go. And now that looks festive, doesn't it? Yes, it do. It's a great drink for. Spring to summer. It is. <clears throat> oh, it helps. Now, did you enjoy uh, Memorial Day, your Memorial Day weekend? I think we did. I think we did celebrate. Now, to really celebrate, though, uh, uh, when that, you have... Uh, is that clapping? To, 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 somebody to, clap for Memorial Day. I, th I think we got takeout from uh, uh, Olive Garden. Ah, yeah. <coughs> now, to really celebrate, though, when you have a cocktail or a drink of some kind, you really should, to enjoy it mostly, eat the worm at the bottom of the Windex bottle. You want to do that. That's true. But you don't have to worry because it's Windex, so the worm's clean. That's right. <laughs> yes. You sit at home writing these things while you're, while you're drinking mezcal? Yes, well, we're just, we're just talking about the post office, which Trump called a joke. He called the post office a joke. Why? Because they deliver for Amazon. That's and, right. And, he and Trump like hates Amazon. Amazon. Politically, because they make money legitimately. <laughs> by delivering stuff to you. Well, no, Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post. and uh, He hated Amazon before he got it. So. So. But you know, early voting, which has been going on now for a few weeks, is over as of now. And uh, so if you now have to either send in your, your absentee ballot, if you haven't yet, still waiting for mine, it hasn't come in. Me too. Or you'll have to go in and vote on, on uh, June so, 2nd. So I was going to ask you, you're signed up for the famous independent party, right? Yes. Whose slogan is? You can't vote in the primary. That's who, what the slogan is. Oh Yeah, we're us. Is that it? We're us? I we're not you. <laughs> I don't go with slogans. I'm not going. You're, See, you're an independent. I'm independent. So I'm would not, you, don't, don't you join. get a thing? There's independent people running, right? Name, name one. I don't know. I don't even know the ones I'm voting for until I get there. Well, the primary election is Tuesday. Yes. Okay? That's your last chance to vote. But right. your your uh, ballot has to your be ballot, there. If you has to be postmarked by Tuesday. No, they have to. If your absentee ballot has to be in their hands by seven o'clock Tuesday. I guess I will have to run over there and not vote and just give them my ballot. So don't mail it in. Take it in. And if you're going to take it in, you might as well just vote in person. But then you have to touch their pen. Well, you, know, you can bring your own. You pen can sanitize and all that kind of thing. Uh, but here's what we're voting on in the primary. 
We're going to vote. a lot of county stuff. Uh, we're voting on county commission. Yes. Three different districts in the county commission. District 2, 4, and 5. Now, District 2 uh, abuts up against Texas and Mexico. Yeah. It's also the Port of Entry, Santa Teresa, Sutherland Park, Anthony, Chaparral, La Union, and Chamberino. That's not really our audience base on Comcast, but it is on Facebook and YouTube, since we're on YouTube Which we get to YouTube. worldwide. As you know, because you get uh, responses from all over the world on your movie. Absolutely. Now, on <laughs> District 4, that entails East Mesa, the, the East Mesa of Las Cruces, uh, Hacienda Acres, Moongate, Oregon, and the East Edge of Las Cruces. Oregon, huh? And di District the 5. The metropolitan part of Oregon or just the suburbs of Oregon? No, the, the whole thing? The, oh, the entire megalopolis. Oh, okay. Now, District 5 is Northwest County, which includes Hatch, Rincon, Radium Springs, and that region. And we're also counting, we're also uh, Doniana County voters are electing a county clerk, mm -hmm. which has an incumbent who is running. Eric Rodriguez. Treasurer, which has an incumbent who is running. And District Attorney. The incumbent is not running, but his the second in command over there in the office is running. That often unopposed, happens. by the way. Well, then I guess I'll vote for him if yeah. he's running unopposed. Right. You still got to vote for him if they're unopposed, because you could do a write-in. It's true, you could do a write-in. Do you know Ooh. anything about attorneyism? Hmm. Do you have to be I, a lawyer? I, I'll sign you. I'll sign you. Well, okay. If you don't have to be a lawyer, I'll do it. I will. But you're just taking over the guy before. Get That's his right. get his degree. Put right. it up on your wall. I can be crooked too. And Carrie Hamlin is running against uh, Mary Kay Papin. Mary Kay Papin. Yeah, for Senate, New mm -hmm. Mexico Senate. So uh, so she's running, of course. So she's running. But she's the so she is the, she's a presumptive she's the nominee, anyway, in the Democrats. We call her so she. Yes. Uh, so like I said, the absentee ballots have to be turned by 7 p.m on Tuesday. So we haven't even well, received our absentee ballots to vote and send them back in yet. Me neither. And I've applied for them. So is, is Alice signed up for some party or another or is she the same non-party as you? Oh my friend Alice, she's a Democrat. So am I. Yes. Really? Since when? Since getting this job. <laughs> <laughs> well TV will do that to you. It makes you democratic because you're in the spotlight, you know, you're for the people. You're out there and you're hoping the people are going to be well taken care of. So that's why you're democratic. Yes. Of course, if you only care about how you're taken care of, I don't know. Uh, what's next? The absentee ballots must... You're very serious about... <laughs> I can't believe... You're so serious, yet you're unwilling to take sides. What? Who says? You said. You what just do you mean said take it. sides? You just said. I don't... Just because I, I don't, don't join a political cult, doesn't mean I don't have I, I opinions don't one side or the other. People don't dance around campfires with their heads on uh, pikes, you know? So it's not a cult. It's, it's an a cult. understanding. A cult. I think you're broadening the definition of cult There's to all kinds anybody of that cult. is a group. It's all kinds of cults. And, uh, and you belong to the theater cult. And I assume that the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are political cults, as far as I can tell. Yeah. You Look how they behave, or misbehave. They, in they they're fashion. all independent. What you are looking at is a group of people who all do things that they sort of want to do, and where they do the same thing, you consider it cultish. And when when they it's do merely it, called agreement on certain principles. No. When they Not do it in lockstep. all step. Democrats or Republicans are the same. In fact, if all the Republicans were the same or Democrats were the same, you wouldn't need all this campaigning, right? Or electioneering. You'd, be, you'd just go, oh, whatever that head says. You don't do that. Everybody is putting out their ideas and people are voting independently. Not necessarily. Different ways. Yes. Uh, if they do it in lockstep, that's a cult. They don't do it in lockstep. They do. Yes. I've been watching the news. So let's take a break. Oh, good. We're on to our next drink. <laughs> we're going to do another, yeah, we're gonna do another, another variation on a this variation. Drink. When we get back after these words, that's a good drink, Michael.
you found us on channel 98. Keep watching because we have so much in store for you. We want to grow together. Your channel, local and real. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. Hello, welcome back to Double Talk. You had to look up the name of the show, right? You forgot the name of the show. You, you can never be sure After on this show. After that drink, you know, that's why we keep double, that looks like a helix. Does it look like a helix floating around there? It's, it's double helix talk. So we're going to do, Campari is a bitter aperitif, but so is Aperol. But Aperol isn't as bitter as Campari. And you usually use Aperol for an Aperol spritz, which means you throw like a third of Aperol into your champagne glass. Now, why, why do you, Michael, why do you think they feel the need to artificially dye it orange? To differentiate it from Campari, which is red. Which is artificially played, colored red. Ooh, yes. ooh, I might finish this. Yeah, what the heck? Why not? It's only four Another years. dead soldier. Yes. So, <laughs> since it's a, it's a bitter aperitif, slightly bitter aperitif, we mix it with a regular Amaro, which is a little after-dinner drink. This is... The first time I ever found out what Amaro was. Yes, was in with Italy. that brand, Ramazzotti? Well, they said, uh, I said, what kind of Amaros do you have? Thinking, that's the name of something. And yes. the guy says, I said, well, show them to me. He had a wall a world full of, of different Amaros. And Ramazzotti like, was the funniest name, so I picked it. So he's like, well, yeah, what Okay, what the hell? But Ramazzotti is pretty good. It's pretty standard in Italy. Oh, it is it? Yeah, it is. It just the one that is in almost every place in Italy is called Monte Negro, but that's more of an after-dinner drink by itself because it's really flavorful. Uh, what are we doing? And oh. Schweppes club soda. We'd okay. use uh, Fever Tree club soda, except I don't think they make it. They might make it. They. Mmm. Mm. We'll have to ask the Deckers. They, anybody would they, know it's they them. They love the Deckers are, are the Fever Tree aficionados uh, in town. So I, I bought a four pack of Fever Tree. Which one? The other day. Uh, Where'd you get it? The Pinine one. I got it at Albertsons. How much? It was on sale. It's marked down. Four ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Like a dollar off or something. Oh, cheers. Cheers, sir. Come on. Clink. Yeah. Not as strong. Well, the club soda's on top. We the didn't stir these. Is, yeah, we, I didn't stir the other one either. I'm going to stir it with my orange slice. Oh, good idea. That should help. Oh, much better, Michael. We yeah. usually do the mixer. We you know, we mix, shake, but, shake. but you can mix it when you're not doing a... T this is theoretically a tall drink because oh. you're putting soda in it. And the, just two liquors. You know, a cherry would be nice with this. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? It yeah, is. It is. You stir it. Uh, yeah, that's it, really good. It's all yeah. amalgamated. Yeah, good taste. No, great cherries are good. Luxardo cherries, oh. right? Uh, a Luxardo cherry in this? A Luxardo cherry in, uh, in, uh, tonic, in club soda is good. 
It doesn't yeah. matter what it is. Um, you know, Specs is not open, is it? And it has not been open, right? Specs has been open throughout. They have been. Yeah. Because we they serve food. They sell Specs. Food. No, no, because they did not close liquor stores in, in, Texas. in Texas. So they were open. Barb and I had to go over there for uh, an emergency run for medical stuff about a month ago. To, to Specs for medical stuff. To, yeah, yeah. Because, because one of the things she likes drinking is called the penicillin. And to make the penicillin, you need, you need Canton ginger liqueur, <laughs> and you mix the ginger liqueur with honey and lemon and put it in scotch, and it's called oh. the penicillin. For so that, that's a medical reason, right? It sounds, sounds like a medical emergency to me. I know, so we had to run over and get Canton liqueur. Well, you're not gonna find Canton anywhere in Las Cruces, that's for sure. <laughs> that's true. Oh, but Kelly's is now open. Did we mention that? Kelly's Liquor. Yes. You said uh, you were there. I was there over yesterday, or whatever today isn't. The other day, yeah. Yeah. So that's good news. How did they manage to open? And they have a lot of things. Well, because everything eased up. I, we think that Barb thought she saw Ross had people in front of her, which could mean Marshall's is open. Mm. Um, we got takeout from uh, uh, Cafe de Messia. Cafe de Messia. You know that little place in Messia? They do breakfast and lunch. Yes. We they, got breakfast. They have an outdoor patio. Yeah, they do. But we got we got uh, breakfast. In our case, lunch because we eat late. To go or you eat to go. And uh, it was great. And haven't had it from them uh, for you know we used to eat there all the time. Yeah. What'd you so get? So Cafe de Messia. I got something called. Did you ever hear this stuff? Scrambled eggs. I don't know what the word scrambled means, but I think it had stuff in it that tasted good. Had them for breakfast today. Really? Did you have it with? Uh, I made them. Did you have it with uh, uh, mushrooms? I had onions, bacon, mushrooms. mushrooms. You didn't have bacon, did you? Turkey bacon. I do have turkey. Yes, we had turkey okay. bacon. Uncured turkey bacon is the only kind I eat. Well, I hope it gets better. And so, have you been to the library lately? They're not open. I haven't been. <laughs> oh, oh, that's ever. right. You don't read. <laughs> But, yeah. but it's like yeah. books, you know, it has nothing but germs in them. Books. Uh, the, uh, What'd you do in the library? They have movies, they have well, magazines. Well, don't let me ask you what you did because that's probably illegal. Well, I didn't do corrals. anything in the library because you can't really go in and browse around the stacks. But they've now opened up the computer lab. Only 10 people may go in at a time. How many fingers are you allowed? And you only get 10 fingers 30 minutes. Person. Yeah, and then they wipe down the, the computer keyboard. Lab. They wipe down the keyboard. And they sanitize after every use. Um, also, uh, they have curbside service, so you can call in and say, uh, I'd like to check out this book and this movie and so forth. I guess you, when you get there, you call them and say, I'm here for my books and so forth. They come out and bring them to you because you, you, you can't go in. And uh, So that's pretty good. They also mail you the books. They have a mail-in service. You call them up and say, I want this book, or you go online and look at their selection at their card catalog, and then you tell them which books. books you want if you have a library card. They also send you movies. They'll mail it to they you. They send you movies. And when you're done, and you get three weeks, instead of the usual, used to be two weeks. We you have, used to read faster. You get three weeks, but you don't have to mail them back. You bring them back, and you I put them in the in outdoor it. box. So the mail only goes one way, and they pay for it? Yes, the city pays for it. Well. They're saving money because <laughs> most, of the, most of the staff is laid off. Well, we know somebody who still works there, and now he's probably working there more. Hi, Steve. <laughs> yes. So that's great, because a lot of people, the, their only access to the internet is sometimes the library. And yes. you have to do things. Like, I understand you had to su send in to get your money from uh, the uh, stimulus? stimulus program. You should go there and use those uh, computers. Oh, well, that's yeah, right. I haven't gotten mine yet. Because they have a direct line to the government, because they're a government building. Now, for the curbside pickup, it's only from uh, 10 in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. If you want the computer lab, it's only from 10 to 4. That's a lot longer than... Oh, and if you want to recycle your glass, yes. it's only from, I think, 10 to 1. Michael, I recycled yesterday up on Sonoma Ranch. But before 1 o'clock? They were open, yes, it was in the morning. Well, I, like I usually wake up at 1 o'clock, so it's not convenient for me. But um, uh, I tried to do my glass recycling about three o'clock because uh, mm -hmm. it's usually open till four. And then I found out it's only open till one. Well, in my case, I was not only recycling, recycling glass, but plastic, cardboard, because I live in the county and we don't have- And leftover food? Pick up and recycling. Did you give leftover food? No, you don't recycle that. Oh. Well, I guess recycle it in another way at home. You know what I mean? Oh, you do? Uh, I don't know, you look a little flushed. 
Now, uh, you know, out, outdoor seating in restaurants is yeah. coming online now, finally. It doesn't come online. It comes outdoors. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, if it was online, you'd be doing the same thing we're doing now, which is calling up for our food. Um, they're still they're still uh, doing takeout yeah. and delivery, but you can now eat in some restaurants outdoors on the patio. So you can't eat in there. You can eat outside. We don't want you inside yeah. yet. So Salute is doing that. Um, I believe there was some weird confusion in the paper on Thursday morning, which was talking about how Corner Bakery had a sign that said they're open for seated food. But I saw people sitting outside anyway, so I'm not sure. But you can still go into Corner Bakery. And, uh, and I also saw a two-line car line at noon uh, on Wednesday of about 10 cars each, Chick-fil-A. The one on Loman? Yeah, that was pretty packed. Well, because like you can't go in and eat. Corner Bakery. Uh, I, I stopped at Raising Cane's yesterday, you know, the drive-up window. Mm -hmm. They were doing a pretty good business in the drive-up window. You know, these companies, some companies are made for these things. Not that this thing was made to get them business, but even yeah. Freddy's, too. You right got a drive-up window, Cane's. you got to make. Freddy's is doing okay. Not as, not as well as... I hear Chipotle is even doing drive-up. What's that? How does that work? Because they don't have a drive-up window. I think they made one out. Car side I think serving. they have a... They put a table out. And they just bring it to yeah. you. Right. So, oh, your oh, favorite thing. Well, that's the MVD Express is a private company, but uh, the state owned, uh, you know. Motor vehicle bureau? Motor vehicle division. We, we reported last week on the show that they were going to be opening up. I and have to report today didn't. they are not in Doniana County. They are statewide, but here the state has determined that because of the coronavirus, we have not peaked yet. Us, McKinney County and San Juan County, uh, may not have their motor vehicle department open. Oh, we yet. have to peak. And start Everywhere else down. in the state may open, but these three counties, mm. including Doniana County, may not open as originally planned. Keep talking. I'm eating my orange. Okay. Okay. And so people who oh, made look, appointments, oh. and, and by the way, it's by appointment only. Those who had made appointments got them canceled. So you will have to make new appointments later when it's announced that they will be open. But luckily, if you can't use your car, Raft the, the Rio is canceled, mm. so there won't be a lot of traffic on the Rio, so you could drive up and down the Rio Grande. Right, <clears throat> Raft the Rio, this is an, an exclusive. I just found out yesterday that it's canceled, but they're doing a kind of a virtual Raft the Rio. Which has how I did it anyway. <clears throat> where you would build your own miniature raft, and then you Float it on a pool or a pond or, or a bird bath, bath your or bathtub. bathtub, whatever, and take a picture of it. And then it'll be voted on as in the various categories as most creative, uh, best use of uh, recyclable know. materials, et cetera, et cetera. I once took a picture of something I had floating in the bathtub and I got arrested for it. Mm -hmm. right. Well, you're not supposed to do oh, that in the bathtub. you're not supposed to do that, huh? Oh. No. So uh, that's what's going on. Also, there's a play happening at the Black Box Theater. Well, not at the a Black play. Box. They're doing a virtual version of it on Zoom uh, called The Meaning of Life. And it's, it's only time to do it, two right? performances, June 19th and June 20th. You have to make reservations at the Black Box Theater. Go so to their website. Give them a call. Now, being Zoom, you can, they can only handle 100 people at a time. So you Which is your, all that can get in the theater anyway, so that's pretty, fine. Yeah, so get your reservations, though, if you want to see it. Thanks for joining us. Bon appetit. Try this drink. Happy June. Negroni, Negroni month. month. Tell us, we'll tell you how to make it. This one, April.